to another short episode of Cybersecurity News brought to you by Cinedis, a company dedicated to protecting the privacy of your information. And by the way, it's a company I founded. So lately, we're hearing more details about a massive data breach at Marriott. Private details of up to half a billion guests at Marriott International may have been exposed in one of the most serious data breaches of its kind. The world's biggest hotel company said that customer details were exposed following a hack on its Starwood room reservation network that had been ongoing since 2014. 2014! Ongoing! That's crazy! The attack is troubling, not merely because of its size, but also the type of details that hackers may have stolen, and also for how long it has been going on. This is one very scary part about cyber attacks. Sometimes, the bad guys are inside the system and remain undetected for a long time. Data stolen from Marriott included information such as emails, date of birth, gender and physical mailing addresses, but in some cases also credit card information and passport numbers, stuff you really don't want to be exposed online. So, let's compare the Marriott data breach with other big breaches. As you can see, this attack, which involved about 500 million guests, is only surpassed by Yahoo as one of the biggest hacks of personal data of all times. For th those who don't remember, Yahoo, acquired by Verizon Communications last year, suffered a security breach in 2013 that exposed all 3 billion of its users at that time. 3 billion, my god! Marriott has not disclosed exactly how the hack happened, but cybersecurity experts have suggested that the acquisition of Starwood, which is another big chain of hotels, by Marriott in 2016 may have allowed hackers to quietly remain inside Starwood's database and do their bad thing. So, whether you're a business or an individual, this hack means that we have to be careful even with how our partners and providers handle data because in the long run, that could become a big problem for ourselves. Imagine how a lack of security at a partner provider can years later compromise your own reputation, your financial integrity, or if your business acquiring another business, it may affect the very future of your own company. As a company, due diligence should include checking the security measures taken by other companies. As an individual, it's harder to do so. We usually don't have time to read the fine prints and websites we shop at usually only give out generic information about how they take care of our data. And it's usually lost in a bunch of blah 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 from their legal teams just to cover their backs. But thankfully, there are more and more laws, like the GDPR in Europe, and now equivalent laws are being passed in other jurisdictions that force companies to disclose these types of breaches. The fear of public shaming is a strong motivator for companies to act early on to prevent such hacks to occur in the first place, which is good news for consumers. So, that's it for today, and just remember, next time you shop, just pause for a second and check if that company or website hasn't been exposed already for bad security practices. It's worth your time not to give your passport number to a careless company. Be safe online and offline, and we'll see you soon!